I just want to make a quick review for this uh, power or out power converter. Uh, I don't know the brand. Uh, I purchased it, uh, but a lot of people have been asking me for it. So uh, information. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video. I just want to turn this around so we can look at the label. And it's uh, an on online uh, S-switch. And I want to show it's the UPS. 500 AD and it's 288 watts and the device itself works amazing. I use it for a ministry. Uh, we take uh, speakers and uh, televisions and we have to charge phones out there on the field. So let me show you what this is. It's got an LED light right here. Okay, it's got an LED light. Right now I have 62.1 percentage left of my battery. Uh, but I will show you something right now. It's got four USB ports. It's got two 2.1 amps and then two 1 amp. This is mostly for phones and this is used mostly for tablets, but you can use it whichever way you want. You also have 12 volt outputs here if you have anything to plug in that is 12 volts. And right now it is showing that I have the AC power on and there's AC charge and then there's solar charge. I will turn it around so I can show you. I am right now at 62.1% battery, but I wanted to show you that I have something connected to the back of this. This only has two outputs. There's some that have three outputs here. This only has two because it's got the European and the, uh, I guess, uh, standard uh, output. So there was only space for two plugs, but don't forget that there's a lot of devices that just use the USB and you can plug them on this side and then you can use uh this this side so you can charge uh via solar power i lost the cable but it does come with the cable and then this is how you charge it so this is the ac input it's got a fan so that it cool off uh the unit if it starts getting too hot and then this one here you can use it to actually plug it in here and it also comes with a cable either for the solar and then it comes with a cable for you to plug it into your uh cigarette lighter in your vehicle so it'll be charging at the same time that you're using it and you can do that so that way it'll retain the power as you can see it's a little bit uh beat up just everybody asks me about it whenever i pull it out at the sites and i start plugging in speakers and uh, iphones and ipads and everything so everybody wants to know what this is so i'm gonna go back over here to the top, it is the 500 AD uh, UPS uh, battery with 288 watts. And, uh, you know, it's just a, an amazing, it, it's a little heavy. It's made out of plastic. It's a uh, maybe like a, I don't know, poly, polycarbon material maybe. So it's very uh, sturdy and it's got a handle on it. But what, see, as you can see, the, the fan just kicked in. Let's see how, how much, let me see. Right now, it went down to 59.1. Remember, we were at 62.1, and it's fluctuating between 59 and 62, but let me show you why. I am actually running a 50-inch TV off of it right now. So I've had this TV on for probably about two hours. We started at um, 100%, so I've done two hours of TV. I just left it on. Uh, and we're not even at 50%. So you can watch a whole movie on this. The way that I use it is I use this TV and I can, uh, you know, if I'm in a Wi-Fi zone, I can uh, basically cast this uh, through AirPlay and people can basically watch the movie that I have on my phone or I can plug in a DVD player to the back of this and then from there I can play it directly onto the TV through an HDMI cord. So uh, just wanted to do a, I guess a review on it. Hope this helps. Uh, like I said, it is uh, two plugs in the back. The new ones that I've seen have three standard uh, plugs. This has the European and the American or the whatever you want to call them. But this one only has two of them because it's got uh, the 220 uh, converter also. So just wanted to show you uh, it is uh, very durable. I've used it quite some time. So this is where you turn off your USB ports right here. And then you turn on your light up here over here, of course. 
and i just wanted to do this review and i hope this helps if you are someone that does a lot of outdoor uh activities if you travel if you camp uh the fan just went off right now if you heard it so it just cooled off it's it's really not even hot but i guess it the inside must be hotter and it just turned off so uh if you can get yourself to one get to it it's about 200 250 dollars depending on where you buy it uh, you can find it on amazon under different brands uh there's one brand i think called king and then uh there's another you you use ulanzi use only something like that i'll put the links down below in case you are interested so uh, like the video if it helped you i hope uh that this helped in some way